started off when he was two and he has very weak lungs. And so we just proceeded to Singapore. Everything was fine, you know, he was having fun. But when he was at the water park on the day, it was three days, two nights, that's when he felt very lethargic. Fever came back again. And uh, the moment we went home, I knew that something was not right, that I really need to... I told my husband, I told him that I think he needs to be admitted for some reason. The doctor would have to, because it was an emergency, so the doctor would have to like um, do all the swab tests and everything. But before that, they needed the fever to go down. Only a few hours, hours later, only that's when they did the swab. And that was when they told me that your son has a H1N1 and it's influenza A, which is uh, one of the most uh, severe one. So as a parent at the time, I don't really know what it was, you know, influenza. Because to me it was pneumonia, pneumonia, flu, flu. Emotionally, I was down. I was like very badly affected. Yeah. So, so after that, uh, it was we were quarantined, both of us, with a daughter at home with the half father. But both of us have to be quarantined and have to stay by his side. You know, they keep giving him the nebulizer. And for a three year old, definitely he fights back. He's, he wasn't calm. So when I see him cry, I also want to cry because I was so helpless. I can only cry, you know, feel so depressed, feel so helpless as a mum because oh he, he he can't eat, you know. Then every time every four hours nebulizer, every four hours nebulizer. And sometimes you got to slowly carry him, put him on your chest, then put the nap so that he doesn't wake up. But when he wakes up you have to force him. So eventually he get used to it. So he was very cooperative, but he couldn't eat, so he was on drips for at least the second day, only the third day where he started uh, consuming, asking for milk and uh, porridge, yeah. And at the time, I was only working, started working with my previous company. At the time, the current company was just about six months. And at the span of that six months, that was the third time he's being admitted. So it really affected me because at my work and as a manager, people will look at you differently. But at the same time, Probably I may overthink, but I felt that it affects my my job performance as well. First is his health because of when we understand, we read about the, the side effect and what what influenza A can bring, you know, it can actually cause death. And for a three-year-old to go through all this, right, all this admission and all this pain, sometimes as a parent you can you can't help but to think of the worst, you know. So and of course the financial impact then uh, and my job as well you know I have to really weigh and measure because if I lose my job I cannot provide much for my family because you know with this you know in this country you it's a very norm thing for both couples I mean for both parents to work because we need to make uh, you know make ends meet you know so to think of that is a worst come to worst basis and sometimes it even increase create arguments and um, uh, miscommunication between me and my husband, you know, but for a child to go through all these things, you see all the drips, you know, when they, they insert the IV and if it doesn't go through the vein, they have to poke him again, you know, it's very, very painful. So many times when that happens, I will just turn away because I felt the pain I, and for him to be calling mommy, mommy, you know, or daddy, you just feel so helpless now, you just want to carry him away. Influenza jab definitely because Ian was due for the jab. But unfortunately, before he can, it's time for, before he goes for the jet, the virus attacked him first. So after that, doctor said that the one month after that, so long that the fever go down, doesn't come back, he was uh, actually scheduled for the vaccine. So he has two vaccines to take. And after that, when he starts, uh, doctor advised when he goes back to start nursery, you have to give him an annual uh, vaccine. That's when uh, we told ourselves that we have to, you know, we have to put, go for the vaccine annually because these are all prevention. There are many parents or you do a lot of reading resources saying that, you know, there are many parents who are sceptical on vaccination. But for us, is um, we are more scared, afraid of death, afraid of sicknesses, illnesses that comes because we don't know what we should do, we would do after that. So. As long as it's a priority or it's an important vaccine, we send them, all our kids goes for the vaccination. Yeah. I think vaccination is very important. Uh. 
don't take it very lightly. And thank God that my son came out healthy, you know, and today he's, he's healthier. You know, we take a lot of precaution measures to ensure that he's being vaccinated, especially with this influenza, because we don't want to be confused. Huh? You know, like everyone always say they get flu, but we don't want to be confused between this influenza, the flu that causes influenza and the common cold. Yeah, so it's always good to, if you see that, you know, it's always good to go and have a check, you know, go and see the doctor and get yourself properly checked, not just ask for a flu medication. If you see that your flu doesn't stop, fever doesn't stop, but it keeps persisting, it's always to take prevention. To us, it's always still prevention is better than cure.